All praising King King Selassie. This is where the BS meets the BMP. That is the Beast Savior operation meets the Babylon Man plan. So basically we are humans. We are emotional. We have different experiences that affect us, us each differently. And there is a group of us that have focused energy over long periods to study us and not share the results. And so they have the advantage to make their lives more comfortable by using us organisms to serve their interest and they they own all the communication channels that exist um, you wonder why there is no competition basically with this service here is because this is part of that network and it exists at the top and through this system um, they have patented their processes to give themselves the you know, ability to control the industry of social media. You know, when you look at the huge social media companies, you can count them all on one hand is because this is all part of the design these folks didn't just show up out of nowhere, you know, they're college kids playing around. You know, the, the truth is, is that these are always, have always been feces, and they have been tools for their benefactors. And much of the development has been done through the militaries by taxpayer dollars that people labor and give to a king and the king decides what he wants out of what he out of the labor he acquires and the results have been this technological development of the digital infrastructure that obviously benefits those who designed it where the BS meets the BMP is that Today, we're getting flooded with information from these communication channels about how, you know, the leaders are, are, are corrupt and dangerous and that the solution is for the system to replace them and that this is a form of democracy and it will happen and it will be a victory for the people. Um, this is, again, this is the great buy-in. They are at their final lap and when they cross the finish line, they will wipe their hands and will not have to suffer any burden of any grievance on behalf of the people of the world. And that is if the people even exist. Everything is as prophesied in the scripture that we will see the rising of the beast 
and this particular operation that I call the Beast Savior to draw people back to the Beast and away from their Creator. I weigh! has become part of the plan so that as the perceived enemy of the people is going to be the standard bearer by setting a precedent to eliminate this free speech as we know it. That is that our speech will no longer be projected to others through the internet. That is the plan. Now, if you do a search, you'll probably get some conspiracy theorist looking page that will say the same thing, but it will not sound reliable. Nevertheless, think about the situation. Before you read or listen to someone else, you know, we must think, right? We must think about things for ourselves. And then we can discover the truth because I and I know. And if we think, We must say, this thing could be dangerous if it's not designed correctly. And the Babylon does not choose to appear authoritative. They choose to appear liberal and flexible for their people, you know, as they claim a democracy is so they're not going to tell people what to look at, but certainly they're going to show people what they want people to see. And they will discourage people from seeing anything else by putting that fear in people. And this is the beast. You know what the beast looks like? He's frightful. Well, these people are afraid to say, watch this video. You know, they won't watch it because if they perceive that it has something against the beast, there the fear kicks in. So right now, there is a stage underway of this process called input to output mapping. And this is what I refer to as class content. Whereas people are shown certain material that will have a particular effect based on the studies that have been done. And the output is the measurement of that effect. And the objective now is to teach the, the children to only worship the beast.